Okay, hello, you're right. Welcome back. Um, hopefully, you have all got to make that looks a little bit vaguely like this. Um, some of the bits you've been sending me, my groups, they've been absolutely fantastic. Really, thank you to those who've been persevering. Okay, and asking me what can you use instead of masking tape or PVA glue and stuff like that. I really appreciate the fact that you are trying to do this. Um, so well done, you. If you're still struggling. Go back and rewatch the videos. These are really simple to make, guys. I know I, it looks complicated, but you've seen how it starts out. It's just a circle of cardboard. Go back, have another watch and have another try for me because it is super simple and they look really cool when they finished. As in my finished one. Ta-da! So I tried to do a fish. I don't know if he works. I like him. But he was a bit, it sort of hurt my brain a bit to try and get him looking 3D. But I think I've managed it okay. Um, I've got some scales on my scales, which I am super proud of these. I think these are fantastic. I even managed to use my gold paint, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then I've got some seaweed on my sort of 3D bits that were sticking up here. And I just painted this with acrylic paints. So if you're lucky enough to have some acrylics at home, use those. You can also use poster paints. They will do the exact same job. Um, but don't use watercolour because watercolour is just not going to work. It's just going to go all um, pale. And I mean, if you can get it to work, try it if that's all you have. But um, it really won't give you the nice vibrant colour that we've got here. So if you're lucky enough to have paints, give it a go. Just see how I have filled every single nook and cranny with paint as best as I can. Um, so that it is finished and you know what I think it looks amazing I'm particularly happy with these yeah so um, use paints if you have them but I know a lot of you probably won't have paint which is why I'm going to show you on this one how to not use something other than paint so what you could do is collage it because if we were at school we would actually be using tissue paper and then drawing over the top of the tissue paper to add all in our, add in all our detail um, but I don't have tissue paper at home, so I'm going to collage it with every everything and anything I can find around my house, essentially. Um, so you can do that, or I know some of you might have already coloured it in with felt-tip pens. So I've also got my felt-tip pens, Sharpies, these Crayola ones are quite good. Any, sh any um, felt-tip pens that aren't dying, you know, if you're colouring in with a pen that's on its last legs it's going to look a bit rubbish so if you try and get some pens that actually work that would look fantastic even something like highlighters if all you've got are highlighters in your pencil case then they would work as well they would look really nice and vibrant okay so um i'm going to collage this though because i don't need to show you how to paint and i don't need to show you how to color things in with a pen because you can you guys can do that but i am going to show you what this might look like collaged okay so have a rummage around your house and see what you can find. So I've got some old wrapping paper because I'm an art teacher and I can't throw anything away. So um, old wrapping paper is really good to use. I've got some really nice gold tissue paper that I've been saving. So anything like that, you might have bought some new trainers or um, some packaging and that usually comes wrapped in tissue paper. So find that. Just some plain coloured paper if you've got a um, packet of paper for scrapbooking or just general arts and crafts you can use plain coloured paper and then this is just some brown paper from I think it was from an Amazon package okay so I just went through the recycling bin and I found some of that so anything like that is brilliant if you don't have anything like that you can use magazines so I've got an old week couple of issues of weekend from the Guardian I've got an old fashioned magazine um, and a house and home magazine an ideal home magazine I think I got that free, um, but places like Tesco's do free magazines. If you don't have any magazines, you don't have any paper, pop down to Tesco's, grab a free magazine. They also do leaflets, um, you know, the sort of pamphlets for roller coasters and those sorts of attractions are really good because um, they're nice, bright colours. Um, if you've got any junk mail that's come through the door, that's nice, bright colours, anything like that, that you can cut up, essentially. So don't cut up your mum's favourite magazine. Um, and you're just going to go through and we're just going to cut up squares of interesting colours. I even sort of got some, where is it, uh, 
nice bricks, yellow bricks, uh, green grass. There might be in the travel one, there's probably uh, some um, waves and some sea and some even maybe pictures of fishes and things that you could include on here. So let your imagination run wild um, and see what you can find. Once you've done that, grab a pencil and you're going to draw as best as you can. It's going to be tricky because it's quite bumpy, but you're going to draw the areas that you want to collage in certain colours. So it might be that this bit I want to do all red. So I'm just going to sort of block off the area that I want to be red. And then I think I might have up to here. I might do some sort of zigzag pattern in here. Remember, look back at your design, see what your design says. Because I'm really impressed how many of you have been sort of following closely to your design. I think I might do some polka dots over on this side. And then this guy. Might have him coming around like that. So you're just going to really loosely get your design onto your bracelet as best you can. It is tricky because it's so going to be so bumpy. Um, but do the best you can. Then we need our favourite guy. PVA glue. Um, obviously, if you don't have PVA glue, I know some of you were using the flour and water mix to do the paper macheing. You can actually stick stuff on with Pritt stick for this. I'm not going to use Pritt stick because it's a bit clumsy um, and I prefer to work with the old paintbrush. Um, this isn't watered down, this is just straight up PVA glue. And you're just going to cut your bits of paper into, I would say, squares of about a centimetre you don't want to do it too small you don't want to do it too big or you could do it the exact shape but that's going to be quite tricky on something um, 3D so we're just going to cut our bits of paper into workable squares not too big not too small like Goldilocks just right okay and then we're going to add the glue to our area so I wanted to do this bit in red So the reason why we painted it white and we um, not painted it white, we covered it in white is so that when you're painting, it comes out nice and bright. But when we're collaging, it means that we can leave gaps if you want to make it look like a sort of mosaic or so sort of like that. Or you can butt them right up if you want it solid color. It's entirely up to you how you want to do it. I'm going to butt mine up so it's a nice solid color. And what you might need to do is just come back over with the paintbrush oops and add layers okay and the more glue it is the more sort of varnished it's going to look at the end I would do flat color first and then add your detail later with a pen um, and I'm going to come back and show you how to do that at the end of this video I'm not going to waste your time by showing you how to stick the paper on okay because you guys know how to do that now so work to cover this in collage and I will come back and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Good luck everyone. Okay so it's a couple of days later and I have finished my collage um, bracelet. It's I can do more to this I think but I have run out of time so what I would like to do is go over it with a pen and maybe add in some detail um, to some of the shapes and maybe fix up some of the gaps where I've sort of got bits of white showing through. But I'm really happy with it. Um, it's nice and fiddly. It took a long time and I got really gluey. So this is definitely a job to do while you're watching Netflix or whatever it is you're watching at the moment. Um, it's, re it's really sort of therapeutic as well. So if we have a couple more rainy days, this is a really good one to sit and do while it's raining outside and you can't go out. Um, it did take me a while. This probably took me a good couple of days um, just because it was quite fiddly to do. So depending on how you decide to decorate yours, um, one is slightly quicker than the other. However, I don't want you to rush it. I want you to take your time and make it look amazing. Um, so I'm going to advise your teachers to give you a couple of weeks to do this because we don't want to rush it. Um, and I think 
I might spend a bit more time just adding some more bits on it but I wanted to get this video ready and done for you so to recap you can either paint your um bracelet with acrylics or poster paints or whatever you have lying around your house remember to take into account your design um so your if your design says something on it you can get that in with pen um you could collage and paint as well if you wanted to add some images of water bottles or fish or something like that on top of your paint you can absolutely do that so we're either painting with acrylic paints or poster paints whatever you have at home or you can collage with tissue paper, wrapping paper, some of this is out of a magazine, um, I've got some grass here I thought might look quite cool, um, some gold tissue paper and then you can draw over it with pen or you can just go straight and do it with pen because it's if you've got felt tip pens and sharpies you can go do that as well. But I want to see some nice vibrant but crazy bracelets. Um, make sure to send a picture to your art teacher I'm sure Miss Clifford and Miss Broadbent are equally as excited as I am to see what you've been up to. Um, really well done, guys. Can't wait to see it. Good luck and I'll see you later.